All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Akadwadash. I also want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the 144,000 men that I labor in this work for the sake of Yahweh Bashem El Shai. And I also want to say Shalom to the rest of the elect, which consists of the men, women, and children that are part of that great multitude that are also listening to these videos and that serve the Lord to the best of their ability. I want to say Shalom and I'm the brother Gabar from the GMS Salt, GMS West Palm Camp. And I'm coming back with another daily exhortation through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem El Shai. And I pray that the length of the nation of Israel is edified. All right. And um, so I was just reading, all right, doing some daily reading. And I was reading Joshua, the 23rd chapter. And, uh, you know, the spirit, you know, just hit me, all right, to make this lesson. All right. So I'm going to read uh, Joshua, the 23rd chapter. All right. And Lord willing, the length of the nation of Israel is edified. All right. And this is Joshua, chapter 23, in verse 1. And it reads, and it came to pass a long time after that the Lord have given rest unto the, unto Israel from all their enemies round about, that Joshua waxed old and stricken in age. And Joshua called for all Israel and for their elders and for their heads and for their judges and for their officers and said unto them, I am old and stricken in age and ye have seen all that the Lord your power have done unto unto all these nations because of you for the Lord your power is is he that have fought for you all right because they back in, in, the, in, the, uh, in the times in these times all right you know uh, when the nation of Israel all right when they was hearkening to you how about Shemel Shai all right when they was following his law statute commandments all right every time they went to war all right the most high all right he 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 uh he put the spirit on on, on on our people all right to win that war all right and that's just to prove all right you know i'm gonna keep reading all right but hey, this lesson is going to be about you know um you know getting back in tune you know with our power man all right because we're coming into a a, a time of trouble all right and just like the scripture says all right in romans all right let me get that all right because we're coming into that time of, of, of war man all right you know, this is Romans chapter 15 and verse 4, and it reads, For whatsoever thing were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. All right, so the things that was written aforetime, all right, it was written for our learning. All right, and you know, going back to what I said, we're going into that time of war, man. All right, it's going to be the worst time, all right, that's ever been since there was a nation, man. All right. So the things that was written before time written for our learning. All right. So if we come back unto Yahweh Bashem El Shai, all right, and repent in these last days, all right, and seek and seek Yahweh Bashem El Shai, man. All right, he's he's gonna be with us in these times. All right, and just like Sirach, all right, let me get that. All right, this is Sirach chapter two and verse ten, and it reads: Look at the generations of old. And see that ever any trust in the Lord that was confounded, or did any abide in his fear was forsaken, or whom did he ever despise that called upon them? All right. So hey, look at our forefathers, man. All right. Looking in, in, in the times of Joshua, man. All right. We, we, uh, Exodus. All right. You know the Lord was with us. All right. And the Lord is going to be with us here in these times, man. All right. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. All right. The Lord delivered Noah, man. All right. And destroyed uh, the, the rest of the earth, man. Delivered Noah and his family, man. All right. Uh, eight. All right. The Lord destroyed everybody else, man. All right. And we these, uh, and, and we're the, and we're many, all right, Noahs, man. All right. And the Lord's going to be with us in these times, man. All right. So let me keep reading back on Joshua 23. All right, verse four, and it reads, Be, "Behold." Uh, actually, let me skip. Let me skip the uh, verse six. All right, Joshua twenty-three and six. But ye, therefore, are very courageous to keep and to do all that is written in the book of the law of Moses, that ye turn not aside therefrom to the right hand or to the left. All right, because a hey, like scripture says for Romans six twenty-three. All right, for the wages of sin is death. Right, and a hey, the law. All right, it, it endures forever, like the scripture says. And I'm gonna prove that. 
all right because these christian churches man all right you know they they're making our people worse man all right because they're, they're not telling you to keep the laws they're telling you that the laws is over done away with all right that you can just be wicked as all hell man all right but that's not true all right verse 1 and it reads this is the book of the commandments of God and the law that endures forever all right so this law we either gonna we even gonna be keeping the law in the kingdom man all right these other nations they're gonna be forced to keep the law all right the law endures forever all right 2021 you are still supposed to keep the law statute commandments of Yahweh Hashem al all right and it says all they that keep it shall come to life but such as leave it shall die all right and that's what Esau, all right, that, that's his old gender, man. All right, going back to Psalms, all right, 83 chapter, all right, they they, they come together with one consent, all right, um, figuring out ways how, how to cut us off from being a nation, all right, and one thing that's going to, uh, one thing to do it, man, is to keep us in sin, man, all right, keep us in bondage, all right, keep us serving idols, all right, and false gods, all right, and and because Esau know and these other nations know, all right, that when we in tune with our power, that that these other nations they can't do nothing. All right, because if you how about some if you, if you how about some is with us, who can be against us? All right, I'm gonna go back to Joshua 23 and seven. That ye come not among these nations, these that remain among you, neither make mention of their, neither make mention of the name of their gods all right so we we not even supposed to be all right uh saying these other uh gods names out of our mouth all right but when we do say it it's for edification sake all right because it, it's, it's for edification sake. that's the only time that we do mention these other gods all right for edification all right and to, and to tell our people that the these gods don't worship these gods right and it says nor cause to swear by them neither serve them nor bow yourselves unto them all right so we not supposed to be worshiping any other god all right except the god of israel man all right which is the one and only true living god all right and this is the esau the things that was written four times written for our learning man all right esau all right his old agenda man all right with this uh maxine all right and, and uh, ultimately he's, he's gearing these people up to take that rfid shit which is the mark of the beast all right you know this is this is this is a god that like going back to um Nebuchadnezzar, all right, you know, Esau, he wants you to bow down unto his gods, man, all right, so this is how you can equate uh, things, um, um, it's how you can equate Joshua 23 and 7, all right, according to now, man, all right, because we're not supposed to, you know, bow down and serve any other god, all right, and Esau, all right, he's trying to get us to bow down, all right, to, to his new world order, man, all right, Con uh, conforming to his image man all right um taking that taking that chip man all right taking that maxine man all right but we supposed to have the spirit i mean we're supposed to be uh we're supposed to fear you how about shy man all right and uh scripture talk about striving to the truth unto death all right and the lord shall fight for thee all right but salakia uh for too much talking this is joshua 23 and 8 but cleave unto the lord your power as ye have done unto this day for the Lord have driven out from before you great nations and strong, but as for you, no man have been able to stand before you unto this day. Right, man, because because the nation of Israel, all right, we, we, we was in tune with our power, man. All right, we was keeping his laws, we was keeping his uh, his law, such commandments, man. All right, and any time that that it, it, when we doing that, when we obedient to Yahweh Hashem Al Shai, all right, no other nation, you know, could could stand toe to toe can stand toe to toe with us all right verse 10 one man of you shall chase a thousand for the lord your power he it is that fight for you as he has promised you all right and these things are are going to happen all right here in the time of jacob's trouble man all right because it says one man shall chase a thousand all right and the lord gonna give his elect man all right spiritual powers man all right one one man 
uh, uh, one man making a thousand men around about you. All right, run away from him, man. All right, scared, scared. All right, the Lord gonna give us spiritual powers, man. All right, so that's why, you know, we're not fearing in these times, man. All right, because let's get that precept. All right, because hey, we're living in, in, in these times today, man. All right, the Lord, but the Lord gonna lift up that standard, man. The Lord is going, is going to, uh, he's going to take care of his elect. All right. Isaiah 59. All right, this Isaiah 59 and verse 19. So that they, so shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, shall lift up a standard against them. All right, so that's going back to spiritual powers, man. One man chasing a thousand. You know, that's that's the type of a power that the Lord is going to give to his elect, man. All right, the men, all right, that's been making their body living sacrifice, man. All right, so let's go back to Joshua 23 and uh, verse 11 and read, take good, take good heed there, therefore unto yourselves that ye love the Lord your power. Else if ye do in any wise go back and cleave unto the remnant of his nations, even these that remain among you, and shall make marriages with them and go in unto them and and they to you know for certainly that the lord yahweh your power will not i mean will, will will no more drive out any of these nations from before you all right and that's why all right slavery was so bad man all right because the lord he 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 punished us for our iniquities all right and that's why in the time of slavery all right you know we we was in the hands of of, of our enemies man all right the esau feeding us the alligators, all right, butt breaking the men, all right, raping the, 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 the women, all right, separating us, us, separating us from our families, all right, because we had, the Lord gave us no might in our hands no more, all right, and it says, and shall make marriages, let's lock it, uh, read verse 13 again, it says, know for certainly that the Lord, your power will no more drive out any of these nations from before you, but they shall be snares and traps unto you, and scourges in your sides and thorns in your eyes, until you perish from off this good land which the Lord your power have given you. You see? And that's why the scripture says, follow not the ways of the heathens, man. All right. Everything they do is is, is, is vain, man. All right, it's vain, it's wickedness. All right, and, and the Lord has never dealt with these other nations, man. All right, so all these nations, so-called gods, man, are idols, man. All right, and they're snares, all right, they're traps. Verse 14, and behold, this day I am going the way of all the earth, and ye know in all your heart and all your souls that not one thing has failed of all the good things which the Lord your power spake concerning you, all are come to pass unto you and not one thing has failed right because the lord is not slack concerning his promise man all right you know we 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 messed up as a nation man all right and that's why today it's our job all right to repent man all right to ask the lord for forgiveness all right and it also says in um Isaiah 59 and 2, but your iniquities have separated between you and your power, and your sins have hid his face from you that you would not hear. All right, so we made a offense to the Lord, man. All right, so now in, in this current moment, it's our it's our it's our uh job to repent, man. All right, can't blame nobody else. All right, this word has gone out throughout the four corners of the earth. All right, and then here in this time, all right, the ones that repent, all right, the ones that return back into their power, man, all right, the Lord is going to is going to fight and defend them, 
all right? But he gonna leave these two thirds out here naked, man. All right, no protection, all right? They, 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 they gonna be given over unto the slaughter, man, all right? Verse 15, therefore it shall come to pass that as all good things are come unto you, which the Lord your power promised you, so shall the Lord bring upon you all evil things until he have destroyed you from off this good land which the Lord your power have given you. All right, and this is what is about to happen here in his time, man. All right, the Lord is going to, it says, so shall the Lord bring upon you all evil things, man. All right, so in the time of trouble, man, these people, these two thirds of our people, all right, the Lord is going to, is going to leave them over to that destruction, man. All right, the, the, whether, it's the, whether it's the sword, all right, famine, all right, pestilence, all right, lake of fire, all right, teeth of wild beasts, all right, whether you're getting um, eaten to death, man, all right, because cannibalism is coming back, all right, and uh, let me finish this last uh, scripture, uh, Joshua 23 and 16, when you have transgressed the covenant of the Lord, Lord your power, which he commanded you, and have gone and served other gods and bowed yourself to them that's what our people is doing man still serving all right these these so-called gods man which are nothing all right buddha allah all right these people packed up in these uh catholic churches packed up packed up in these christian church houses man all right bowing down to false gods man all right and it says then shall the anger of the lord be kindled against you and ye shall perish quickly from off the good land which the which he have given you, all right? And this is why these people are, are going to be given over, all right, unto the sword, man, all right? And that's why you're seeing these people dying, all right, uh, 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 of, of, of the pestilence that's out today, COVID, all right? You know, it's the C-19, all right? And these people are going to be uh, given over unto the sword, man, all right? And let me see if I can get that, all right? Because the two-thirds, man, they got, they, they, they got a judgment waiting on them, man. All right, this is Sirach 40 and verse 9. Death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scourge. These things are created for the wicked. All right, and this is, you know, the Lord going, this is, that's, that's the judgment, man. All right. So that was just a short lesson through the spirit. Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel was edified. And I'm going to close out by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashom, Yahabashai, Bahashom, or Kakwadash. I also want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the 144,000 men that are laboring this work for the sake of Yahweh Bashanah Shah. And I also want to say Shalom to the rest of the elect, which consists of the men, women, and children that are part of that great multitude that are listening to these videos and that serve the Lord to the best of their ability. I want to say Shalom at the water, Yahweh Bashanah Shah, for putting the spirit on me to make this lesson. Lord willing, to the next lesson, I'm going to say Shalom and a ball, ball, ball. Shalom.